Hey guys, Teal here from TM Saddlery. Thanks for joining me for another uh, episode. Right, what we have here is a Xanthia or a grass tree. A few other names for it, just to be politically correct, I won't say them on camera. This one's obviously expired and it's left out a few clumps of resin over it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to collect that resin and I'm going to mix it with uh, kangaroo poo or um, dung and as a binding agent and also with a little bit of charcoal. We're going to heat it up and it becomes like a super glue. Great for um, putting on things like a stone point to a timber handle for a uh, primitive knife or even a spear tip, things like that. The Aboriginals around this area use it quite regularly for a lot of their uh, a lot of their accoutrements and a lot of their um, tools that they made. They um, have lasted for years. I personally have a couple in my collection that were handed down to me that are 40, 50 years old and still going strong. So, and they're you know quite young in the in the scene of things. But anyway, stick around and I'll show you how it's done. So, readjusted the camera. Should be able to see this quite well there. The resin lumps there. We're going to be prying these out, so I'll actually be using my um, Victorinox multi tool to do that as opposed to a knife where I possibly slip, cut myself, um, do more damage, break the knife possibly. So, um, yeah. It's only a small amount, but you can see that stuff there. That's what we're after. Okay, so we've set up here. I've got the parts I need for the fire. I only want to just warm this stuff up, so I don't need a, a huge um, roaring fire. I've crushed some of this up, and you can see the the fine resin there, just using the back of the axe, like so, crush it up into a fine powder. Been lucky enough to find some fairly fresh rue dung, and we've got some charcoal over there in a tin. So I'm going to get the fire going and then I'll mix this up as we go. Oh, I've also got a couple of um, very green sticks. I prefer to use the green sticks because when you're holding it over the fire, there's less chance of it burning off or anything like that. And because I use these, once the, the resin's on them, I actually cut them down and I use them. I keep them in my pack for when I need sort of projects. Kind of like a, a bush version of a hot glue gun. So, trialing out one of my new um, kits today as well. Bit of a uh, flint and steel, I'll actually use and get it off. I'll use the one off my neck. That's one I made the other day, fire steel. Alright, I'll get this set up and we'll get back to it.
Rightio, well, finished product. So um, that's the Xanthia glue pitch. It is rock hard. I think on this one I may have put slightly too much charcoal in it, so it's got that sort of, uh, normally it's a much smoother finish than that. But I'll pop these in my kit and I'll use those down the track. Um, also, as you saw, the uh, five flint necklace worked an absolute treat, so I'll definitely uh, be keeping this on me. As well as, it's got enough length that A, I can get it off without taking my hat off, and B, more than enough length for a bowstring for a fire drill. Um, it's got fire flint on it, as well as the sharpening stone for um, just giving my oh, diamond edge, so I can just give my uh, knives a little bit of a clean up if they've sort of got a, a bit of a rough burr on them or something like that. Uh, as well as, I think I already explained the, um, the file part, so I can actually file any large nicks or anything like that out of my axe heads. Um, so yeah, as well as being a fantastic fire flint as you saw before. So yeah, just a little bit of a extra use for my kit. So uh, thanks heaps guys and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers for now.